Well, we can't stress enough how you need to protect not only yourself, but your pets and animals during this freeze. And many of those same tips apply to the Austin Zoo in West Travis County. We visited and found them taking precautions, such as adding jackets to the smaller animals without fur. But they do have specific protocols. A lot of our larger animals will actually have access to a back area where they can go in to get warmer or they can choose to be outside. Um, but we give them lots of places to get warm and bedding hay and things like that. And then our smaller animals will actually just like bring inside to a back holding area that's completely warm for them. Just because they're smaller bodied, they can't withstand like the cold quite as well as some of our larger bodied animals. I love what they do out there. Some of the animals were locked in once it got to 45 degrees. Now you might be surprised to know some household pets can develop hypothermia symptoms at just 40 degrees. If your little friend has been exposed to the cold weather, bring them inside immediately. Experts tell us you should use a lot of warm towels and blankets to try to warm them up. And as a good rule of thumb, if it's too cold for you to be outside, it's likely also too cold for them. And we've seen a number of people offering cold weather protection tips for plants. Now, one of our producers is trying the Christmas lights method for some potted plants, covering those lighted plants with protective plastic blankets. Now, this only works for the older traditional lights that provide enough heat. LED lights will not work. Some trials in Colorado State showed the older lights can do the job. Uh, we asked the Texas A&M Forest Service about this. They didn't say no to the concept, but did point out that if your lights are older or frayed, there could be a risk of fire.